I already know. I like. I'm. I know which color I'm going for, or lack thereof. When it's blank, there's like so many possibilities, but I have like I have an intention for sure. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dana Danger. I'm a queer two-spirit visual artist, uh, Métis Soto Polish, uh, from so-called Winnipeg, Manitoba, living in so-called Montreal. Oh yeah. I like. I like drippy. It's good. This is a good look. When I identify myself, Métis Soto Polish, I'm speaking to maybe the marginalized um, aspects of myself and I'm putting them first, um, always centering. So it's like centering folks that maybe systematically haven't had that type of power. And I think you can do it in these, like even in these very small ways, it changes things with how you represent yourself and like what you're putting out there. Because when I say that I'm two-spirit, that's giving an indication to other two-spirit people out there that this is for them. People that are femme-identified, that are, that are trans, that are non-binary, that are all these different identifications, that this is for them. Recently in some work that I've been doing, I'm thinking a lot about like refusal and visibility with these fetish masks that I um, have made and that I'm completely beading. Like I do all, I do the bead work and I also, I bead the masks, but I also get others in my community, um, Native women, to help me bead them as well. And they are completely covered. These fetish masks that uh, blind us, and I'm so interested in when you can't see the eyes, there's a, some context lost, and then power play between that, between two individuals, um, when you're in power, when you're disempowered, and like how you give that to each other. The folks and the people that I like to prioritize in my work are bodies that are underrepresented. We look at how society, like what is in magazines, who is getting the most airtime in television, who is being represented, who is showing their work the most in galleries. For me, what is interesting is the lines between objectification and empowerment. When are we empowered? When are we disempowered? When are we objectifying ourselves? Is that okay that we can do that? When you photograph somebody, you're telling people, I'm telling people to look at this person, look at this individual. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make work that I think is interesting and make it for the people like that uh, are interested in it.